Hello everyone, welcome once again to our video tutorial. So in this video tutorial, uh, we will show you and guide you uh, if you want to customize this login page. Well, we have prepared a video for this one. Uh, we have tried to, to change the logo and uh, change some colors and change this logo as well. So you can check that out. But in this topic uh, right now is uh, you would like uh, this to be customized like this one need support. Now, uh, generally or by default if you need support you can you can click this link right here in the support uh, forum in the documentation or in news then it's easy for uh, uh, anyone to get support uh, but these uh, forums right here are so to say uh, you need to register or you need to be a member before you get support but yeah it's it's uh, voluntary support actually so it depends on uh, uh, if your case is uh, common or not, then uh, if common, then someone answers you uh, straightforward. But sometimes, you know, uh, it, uh, there are also uh, cases that uh, it may take some time to answer, uh, depending on the issues uh, that you may encounter. But uh, let's say, for example, uh, you develop a particular site and uh, you want to be the main uh, uh, support for, for the project. And, and you want to delete this one, and uh, you want to change this one. Uh, in Joomla 5, you can do that. And uh, we that is uh, what we are showing you today, how to customize this one in support and maybe change it for your own uh, uh, reference. So uh, it's up to you. So uh, like what I have said, uh, this is a general support, but it's up to you if you want to, how to customize it and that's, what we will show you today. So first, this is the Joomla backend, as you know, and uh, this, we are using Joomla 5, the latest version of this one. So uh, to customize this one, uh, we need to log in first. So here, we need to log in at the backend. And we have this version of 5.0, which is the latest version. So uh, now, uh, I, I, I want to customize that one. I, I don't want to show it right there. So what I can do is I go to system and in Joomla 5, there is a particular uh, column in manage area called administrator module. So if you click this one and you need to find that one, that's uh, if, if, if you, you can uh, click all actually, it's not too many, so you can uh, expand this one. And that one is a sidebar area. Uh, so what you can do is you can also filter some options. Now, how, how do you know it's a sidebar? Which position? I'll show you that later on. So I'll go to a uh, sidebar here. And that is the login support here. So I'll unpublish this one. And I will log off this one. And now it's gone. Now, uh, do you want to add it, uh, your own customized one? So you need to log in. Uh, let's say, for example, you go to system and then you go back here, administrator, and you create a new one. So just create it. Uh, I would like to add a custom one. So maybe I just need uh, need help or need the support and uh, contact us. Contact us at I want to expand this one to add the link and I'll insert a link here. So this and then uh, I'll put the uh, Joomla help maybe. And I want this in a new window. So I save it. And that's it. And then you put the position to a sidebar. And this one. And then we just click save. And then when we save it, close. And then we close this one. We need to log out to see the default. 
and then here it was added here need support and then contact us and then uh, if you click that one it will open a new window just the welcome to wedevlops.com we, we so create and close that one again and that's it now uh i'll show you another tip or trick a login and uh, like your question may be, how do you know that that was the sidebar? So uh, to know the layout of the Joomla file back end, you can simply go to system and then go to uh, administrator templates and click this one option and then click this one enable save and close. Now, once you enable that, this will show up the view. So if you click that one here, then you will see the positions uh, and, and the name of the administrator templates. Now it's easy for you where to put up. So there's a, there's a, there's a name and a position uh, written already. And also here, debug area, button area, and so on. Then now you, you will know uh, which area or position. It's it's quite easy now because there's some label. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll put another example. But if I go back here. And then the one that we have made, we will change the position. So here, this one is the sidebar that we have made. So I'll try to change the position. Like I will put it in an icon area, quick icons. I click save and close. And then I go back here to the home dashboard. And here, it was moved here, the one that we have created. And this area is an, uh, if, if you go back here, this area is an icon uh, area. So, so that's why it, it show up here. And this is it. All right. So that is the way how you, uh, you know, uh, customize or uh, your Joomla file administrator. Uh, we have also separate features how to change color, how to change the logo, and how to change everything here. So please check out, check that out in our previous video. You can check that one, and then you will learn how to customize also not only from the front end but also in the Joomla back end. All right. So thank you for watching, guys, and I hope. Uh, you find it informative and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye.